Mishawaka Newscast. I'm Sophie. And I'm Landon. This is your news for Friday, September 20th. Mishawaka has an EV Grand Prix go-kart team. On September 26th, the team will be taking their first trip to Purdue for their first test and tune of the year. Race on, cavemen. Do you like to argue, want to learn more about the law? If you do, consider joining the MHS Mock Trial Academic Team. There is a meeting for those interested today after school in room 273. Regular meetings start October 1st and will be Tuesdays after school. Last Friday was senior night for the band, dance, and color guard. The marching band performed two out of three of their halftime shows, Day Tripper and Eleanor Rigby. Next Friday, they will be performing all three of their songs and going to ISMA marching contest the next day. Good luck to everyone performing. Next week on Monday, September 23rd, Wabash College will be visiting MHS. Then on Wednesday, September 25th, Holy Cross College will be coming to visit. Talk to your counselor if you want to talk to them. The yearbook is on sale now. This year's yearbook starts at $63. An enhanced personalization is an upcharge of $12 and shipping to your home is $13. To order your yearbook, go online now at justins.com slash back to school. Next week, we will have several different fun events for homecoming week. We will have a spirit week with each day being a different theme. Monday will be dressed like a teacher day. Tuesday will be Barbie versus Ken day. Wednesday will be anything but a backpack day. Thursday will be dressed like age day. Freshmen will dress like babies. Sophomores will dress like toddlers or young children. Juniors will dress like adults and seniors will dress like senior citizens. Finally, Friday will be MHS Colors Day. We also have some school events going on as well. On Monday, if you follow the MHS Student Council page on TikTok or Instagram, they will be giving away donuts. On Wednesday, there will be a tailgate in the student parking lot from 6 to 8 p.m. On Thursday, after school, students can make homecoming shaker bottles. Friday, we will have our pep rally for the homecoming football game and the homecoming game at 7 p.m., where we will crown our homecoming king and queen. Finally, on Saturday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., we will have our homecoming dance. The theme is Wizard of Oz, but you are not required to dress based on the theme. Pre-sale tickets start on Monday, September 16th, and will cost $10 a ticket. No one from outside schools can attend the dance. Fall sports are beginning to come to an end, but there are still many live streams coming up on Mishawaka Network. Football will be streamed September 27th, a school board meeting October 9th, and the fall choir concert and the final volleyball game October 10th. Do you want to learn more about Mishawaka? Make sure to tune into the Mishawaka Network podcast. Among them is a podcast done by Max Dubay, which talks about the architecture of the high school throughout the 100 years of being open. Now. Here's Cam with your sports news. This past weekend, the boys tennis team faced Laporte in the Leroy Classic. The Cavemen fell short to the Slicers 5-0. They also played Riley, winning multiple of their games with senior Finn Bobos and Sebastian Van Skyhawk winning singles and Cooper and Ethan Brandiff winning doubles. The boys soccer team played last Thursday against Northridge and lost. They also had their Cavemen Classic last Saturday. On Monday, they fell to Goshen. Thursday, they played Plymouth. Last Thursday, the girls' volleyball team played Concord. The Cavemen fought hard and prevailed, winning the match three sets to zero. On Tuesday, they also played Northridge, beating them three sets to zero. And yesterday, the girls' volleyball team played Northwood. Great job, Cavemen. Last Wednesday, girls' golf played against La Lemire, losing after a close game that ended in a tiebreaker. They had their last home match Wednesday against Marion. And they started sectionals this morning at Knollwood Country Club. Good luck, girls. Last week on Saturday, the Boys and Girls Cross Country team raced at the Concord Minutemen Invite at Oxbow. Mishawaka Boys placed 11th out of the 15 teams, and the girls placed 7th. We had three awardees, Liam Bauschke, Corinne Flick, and Ellie Burachewski. The Northwood Panthers came to Steel Stadium to face the Cavemen in a key MLC matchup. Mishawaka struck first, fast and often as Jackson Snyder made statements on both sides of the field. Northwood was unable to stop the run game as five touchdowns were tallied by Landon Snyder, Jackson Snyder, and Brady Hooten. The Cavemen beat former state runner-up 35-19 and improved 3-1. to Congrats on the win. Last Saturday, Notre Dame took on Purdue and dominated the whole game, scoring 42 points in the first half and ultimately coming out with a huge victory, 66-7. This Saturday, they take on Miami, Ohio at 3.30 on ABC in their second home game. Niles Green Park is open and is ready to scare your socks off. Niles Green Park is open every Friday and Saturday from 8 to 11 p.m. If you want to go, you'll need to buy tickets on the website. They're $42 each. Thistleberry Farms is now open. This year is their 20th year of operation. We'll have more details on the activities and times in a coming newscast. 
Last Sunday, the Ironworks Plaza held the last Mishawaka market of the season. The market hosted many food vendors, artists, and live music. The city is looking forward to a great 2025 season. That's all for this week, Caveman. Shout out to Mr. Brickner. Have a good weekend.